Hello, I'm Kristen Lee. Um, welcome to day two of Vlogmas. Um, different shirt, <laughs> but same day. Uh, I'm pre-filming as much as I can. Um, just because of the holiday and I have schoolwork I gotta get ahead on because I had gotten all of my work done up until December 9th and then my next one is due the 15th and I think there's one right before the holiday so I'm hoping to knock those out oh no <coughs> oh it's right here okay so before I had left actually first of all I don't know if you can see this oh maybe a little bit I forgot about my chocolate bombs that I was all excited about before I left. And I was gonna do one for each of the 12 days. So I'm doing a dark chocolate one today. I'm waiting for it to melt. So there's that. But anyway, before I was leaving, I was trying to get Christmassy or wintry types of books um, just to come home to and have cozy mysteries and stuff waiting for me. Um, I think we did it with Peter Mon's book club last year. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, and we just loved it. It was a great way to end the year. It was, you know, very cozy and fun and we all read different books, I think. So I had them waiting for me when I got home. But another thing that I wanted when I was in New Orleans was I wanted to buy a book from a local author and a Christmassy type book <clears throat> in there or like in New Orleans. Um, so I went to three bookstores. First one was a used one and it was a little chaotic for me. It, it, it reminded me like it belonged in Harry Potter somewhere. It was just, it didn't make any rhyme or reason other than to the owner. And you had to ask what you were looking for instead of perusing. So I didn't like that. Um, and then the other one was a really cute store. And they had a lot of like New Orleans stuff in the, uh, in the bookstore. But the books were really, really thick. And I'm like... I was thinking in terms of weight and stuff. So what I ended up buying from that store are some Christmas cards that will be going to Lagarinos and, you know, friends. And she told me that this is a Louisiana favorite. I don't know whether she was just trying to push it on me or what. <coughs> but... It is a Cajun Night Before Christmas, and it's cute, and it's an ornament. So I'm like, this is perfect. It's an ornament, and it's a book win. And the owner of the shop um, was in the Krampus Parade. I think she led it. So that's pretty cool. Hold on one second. Okay, I had a cough. And then another bookstore was in the Garden District, um, we had taken a few streetcars and a bus or something like that to get to Anne Rice's house. Um, Danielle wanted to go to a certain cemetery that was around the corner from Anne Rice's house. So she's like, why don't we go do this? And we got to the cemetery. It was locked for the night and I had to go to the potty. I just, it was, it was <laughs> way too long from street car to where we had to go so she was like if I remember correctly there's a coffee shop somewhere around here and we turned a corner and there was this like it, it looked like an old building but inside was like a shopping mall it was it was so wild it looked like a French style house but then you open it, it was weird but anyway it said on the door, you could only use the restrooms if you bought something. And there was like, there was a lot of hipster kind of stuff in there. There was a coffee shop, there was um, scarves and those kind of things. And then there was a bookstore. 
So I told the lady that was at the bookstore, I'm like, look, I will come back and I will buy books. I just have to use your restroom. <coughs> so I did and I kept my promise. Do I have the book? Yeah, I do. So I told her what I was looking for. I said, if you can help me find it, because she was looking to close. I said, if you can help me find it, I'll just take whatever you suggest and go with it. So I said I wanted a Louisiana author, if they're local or whatever. So she suggested this. This is The Long-Legged Fly by James Salas. <clears throat> oh, it's the Garden District Bookshop. I'll put their information down in the description. They were fantastic. And they had a puppy inside. Well, he wasn't a puppy. He was a big dog. But we all call him puppies. And he was just, he was over it. He wanted to go home. And then I told her that I was also looking for a cozy mystery type Christmas book. So she suggested Sherlock Holmes and the 12 Thefts of Christmas. Um, it's good so far. I got to chapter, I think I'm on chapter five. Because I also got the audiobook to listen to on the plane. So, I was very excited that I got a Sherlock Holmes book in New Orleans. And then... <coughs> oh my gosh, I can't wait to kick this. I got a bunch of Joanne Fluke books. Who does the Christmassy, cozy mysteries. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Okay, so I only have two. Okay, so I have Christmas sweets and I have chocolate cream pie murder that I want to read. And then <clears throat> this is a new to me author, but I was telling my coast to coast book gals that I was on the hunt for Christmas Cozy Mystery, so she, I think she gave me, well, I bought, but she found these next five. So, Debbie McComber, I got The Christmas Letter, Angels at the Table, and Christmas Tree Lane. Look how Christmassy and cozy, oh wait, one, two, two, five, Christmas Tree Lane. Look at that book. That's so cute. So, she's a new to me author. And then she found this, and I've never heard of this author either. <clears throat> a Susan Mallory, Marry Me at Christmas. It looks very Hallmark Christmas movie. And then Mary Higgins Clark. For some reason, I remember her books being around a lot in the 80s. I gotta find out if she's the one that wrote Murder She Wrote. Maybe it'll tell me in the... Oh, maybe not. She lives in Jersey. Huh. So, I figured it was a short book. I'd be able to finish it. And then I have two winter movies. Oh, uh, movies. <laughs> Books. <laughs> um... I don't remember where I bought this one. I want to say it's my used bookstore. But it sounds pretty cool. It's when a freak auto accident kills a driver carrying false identification on, a, on the remote roads outside of Duluth. Jonathan Stride is disturbed to find a gun in the trunk and the gun has recently been fired. So, it looks kind of like a good murder mystery kind of thing. and Or maybe it's not even a murder mystery. And then, I've been telling you that I love Blake Crouch. So, I had bought this, I think when Peter suggested it. Um, I, but, I think there's a book before it. I gotta check. But, I wanted to read this series. If it is a series. Hmm. 
I love the fact that it was a <laughs> a library book. <laughs> but yeah. So that's what I got on deck for December into January. And then I I really gotta start knocking away some of my uh reveal romance book box books. <laughs> because they're starting to pile up again. But yeah, so if you do themed months or books or whatever, what's on deck for you? Like, are you getting into the newer ones? I know that there's a bunch that um, Kristen Craves Books has shown on her channel. <clears throat> books by Lala has been showing some books that I'm interested in. And then there were TikTok suggestions that I'm like, I don't, I, I can't keep just throwing my money when I have all these books just sitting there, so. Um, but yeah, I thought that it would be nice to have Christmas books, because I, what book did I read last, last year? I think the book was named Snowball, and it was about it, a kitten. It was the, it was the point of view of a kitten, and he lives in this bed and breakfast, and he decides that he's going to play matchmaker with these two people. And it's very Hallmark Christmas movie-ish. And the kitten gets them together. <laughs> and he's like, at some points, he's like, you know, they don't understand how tired I am. <laughs> Chasing them around the house and trying to make them go in the same room. <laughs> but that was one of my favorites last year. So, it smells good. does not taste good. How do you mess up hot chocolate? No. I might be throwing out that box. That's, that's disappointment in a cup. I mean, seriously, how do you, how do you mess up hot chocolate? Well, that's disappointing. <sighs> anyway. I hope you guys had a great day um and i will be back with more shenanigans christmas style tomorrow <laughs> bye <laughs>